So there are three pieces to a percent problem. There's the part, the base, and the rate. Um, the base is just the whole amount, the whole number. Um, the rate, you always know it because it has a percent sign next to it. And then the part is a part of the base. So it's not the whole base, but it's a part of the base. So those are the three, kind, three uh, parts of a percent problem. Now what makes it a percent problem is what? What makes a percent problem a problem? It's missing something. It's missing something. <laughs> so, so, so you're either going to have the part the base and you're going to have to solve for the rate, or you're going to have the base and the rate and you're going to have to find the part, or you're going to have the part and the rate and you're going to be looking for the base. So that's what makes a percent problem a problem is that you have two pieces and you're looking for the third piece to complete uh, the, the question uh, that you're being asked. Um, so the, the first formula is if you have the rate and base, you multiply rate times base to get part. If you have the part and the rate, you divide the part by the rate to get the base. If you have the part and the base, you divide the part by the base to get the rate. And then there's a fourth uh, uh, percent formula which helps you to calculate percent increase or decrease. And so the way you calculate percent increase or decrease is you take the difference of the original number and the new number and you divide it by the original number and that will give you your percent increase or decrease. So I have uh, eight uh, just kind of sample problems here to kind of get us started before we jump actually into the word problems. Um, so the first one is what is 30% of 515? So the answer is 155, but what two parts do we have? The base and the rate. We have the base and the rate. And so because we have the base and the rate, we're going to use this formula here, rate times base equals part. Now, on the keystrokes, I need to help you to understand something. Um, on the keystrokes, you will plug in your calculator the base, which is 515. and then multiply it by the rate, which is 30. Then you would hit the shift key and the equal sign to get the percent, and you get 154.5 or 155 rounding it up. Now, that is different. So if you're on part one of the test where you can use the calculator, you can do those keystrokes. But if you're on part two, then it's very important that you convert the percent to a what? A to a decimal. And the way you convert a percent to a decimal is you drop the percent sign and move the decimal over two spaces to the left. And so you would multiply 515 times 0 .30. And of course, we know what the answer is going to be 154.5 or round it up to 155. Okay? So if you're using the calculator, the shift percent key does that conversion for you. If you are not using the calculator, then you must do the conversion of the rate from a percent to a decimal yourself. Make sense?